Good morning. Today is the 4th of July in this 2023rd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A birthday shout out first to my granddaughter, Melon, uh, Natalie Jane Starr. Natalie is 13 years old today. She was born on the 4th of July, a number of years ago, in 2010, in fact. And uh, we noted that there were some other young people also that celebrated that same day of their birth. And uh, they took a little while of realizing that the fireworks weren't for their birthday celebration, but for something entirely different. So I hope whatever your celebration is this day it will be uh, being mindful of the great nation that we are gifted with, of that document, the Declaration of Independence. It was signed uh, 247 years ago to mark the beginning of a revolution, a revolution that would give birth to uh, the great United States of America. It was founded on wonderful principles, principles that have taken a lot of years to be put in effect for all the citizens of this land, and um, it's a continued struggle, that struggle of freedom, of righteousness, of justice. But we engage in that to be an ensign to the world, and uh, we pray that others will be able to still look upon us as a guiding light in the course of humanity. Uh, a prayer by Martin Luther. Dear Lord God, guide the hearts of your, our leaders to your praise and glory and to the welfare of the land. Enlighten all who are in authority and move them to do what is right. Preserve your people, your judgment, and your righteousness in all administration of justice in this nation and throughout the world. Then good order will prevail. May peace in the world not be troubled by rebellion and treason. May proper discipline and respect not be disregarded or violated by unfaithfulness and other evil. Amen. I'd like to share today something I wrote on that occasion uh, of uh, the 4th of July in the year 2010. Uh, and uh, I hope it will help you to reflect rightly upon what this day is all about. Alex de Tocqueville, a 17th century French uh, writer, visited America in 1831, and this is what he wrote. America is great because America is good, and if America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. We love America and its greatness because of these things that we are privileged to share in the goodness of life, the prosperity that we share, and all of the same. America is great because most of the time America is good. Not everyone believes this to be so, though, but it is certainly a good criterion for justifying one's existence. Greatness based on goodness, the goodness of the heart, the goodness of the life that one has lived. Our forefathers ensured that good for us through one thing that is a difficult thing to sometimes embrace, and that was sacrifice. The 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence put their lives, their limbs, and property on the line for what they believed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain alienable rights, that among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These most memorable words of that great document speak of core rights and privileges that belong to all human beings. Our forebears made them the heart and soul of our stand for freedom from oppression and from injustice. Consider well where they they felt their rights came from. They came from our Creator God. As Christians, we understand a thing or two about good and about sacrifice. Though good can be a relative thing, for us that good is born of God. It is a good that is defined by great commandments, 
which regard God and neighbor as those who are to be loved. I like to think that this is what Tocqueville heard and understood from the pulpits that he listened to across America. Our good makes us great, and such greatness has but a lifespan marked by the extent by which we are good. Sacrifice of life, of privilege, and property was the price paid by these early patriots. Jesus taught us about sacrifice as God's way of commitment and love to the created and demonstrated that sacrifice in Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension. The practical side of sacrifice is understood in the context of, of one's family. What parent who has any salt in them isn't willing to sacrifice much for the sake of their children? Perhaps that means getting the, la the last new thing as that, uh, so that everyone else can have what they want or what they need. I remember years ago at the funeral service and the time of bereavement over a dear friend, Catherine Miller, um, some of those same sentiments that were expressed, that that was the way of her mom toward their, her 10 children, 10 children, that mom was the last to get something that might have been what she needed or that was important to her. If we stand for anything as a nation, we do so for the opportunity of people to have their unalienable rights secured. This was a controversial document and statement when it was written, and it could easily become the same today as many citizens would have us believe these are rights ensured by God for not the many, but the few. It was not popular then, nor is it popular today, this life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, except when it applies to me, myself, and mine. I, for one, am thankful for the circumstances of my birth being in the United States of America. There are millions around the world who long for and seek after what we have. Some come by it legally, others are forced to do so and choose to enter our shores illegally. It is government throughout the world that God has instituted for the sake of good order by instruments of the good for their citizenry, these principles we live by. <clears throat> Friends, this is about as political as I choose to get, but we know we have some work yet to be done. My heart bleeds not always red, white, and blue. I'm as patriotic as the extraordinary citizen, but I fly my flag every day as, as my father chose to do on his property. And uh, I bleed a red of another sort. That is the red that is bled for the sake of others who has not that which I'm privileged to have because God's will is good for all persons. And I would try my best to stand up and sacrifice some of the things that are important for me for the sake of the other. And that's what Jesus taught. That means it takes sacrifice. It sometimes takes a stance that may not be too popular with those who enjoy their privileges. But I will not ever forget how we came by this privilege that we had to even speak words of opposition to others. It was by the blood and the sacrifice and the lives of millions before us who gave up much that we might have more. Perhaps if we feel the pinch just a little or a lot, it's part of the sacrifice that we are paying so that our loved ones today and tomorrow might have what we were gifted with by the likes of Adams and Franklin and Washington, the Lees and the Jeffersons, the Martins, etc., etc. So I join you <clears throat> this day in centering where our life lies and how it was secured 
yes, by the lives of those signers of the Declaration of Independence, and so many others that have fought for these rights. But it should be centered on that phrase, God bless America. May its greatness always be found in its goodness toward God and its goodness toward others. And let us pray. <clears throat> o good and gracious God, we can only be the good, the righteous, the just, the honorable, the peaceable, because you have shown us that, shown us that in your will toward all of humanity, that greatness in any form or substance comes from the goodness of the heart. We know, O oh Lord, there are many who proclaim their own greatness, but they are far from that. We look deeply for the good in them and find it difficult to find that. But we pray for them and we pray for others that, that seek to be noted as being righteous and good, that they might work toward that in the truth of their hearts and for the sake of others. We thank you for the blessings of this day, a glorious and grand day wherever we may be, for it is a day in which we celebrate the, the wonders of life within this, these great United States of America, and for that I give thanks this day. I pray, O oh Lord, for our leaders and those that would be leaders, that they might look to the truth of the documents upon which this nation was built as the principles that guide them in their legislation, in their hearts, in their lives, in what they do, for the sake of not themselves, but for the sake of the other. Grant us your strength and encouragement as we go forth in this day to be good and better reflections of your love. And we give you thanks for the prosperity that we experience, for the goodness and the abundance of food and fellowship and family and friends for all the things we celebrate this day. We ask your loving kindness to abide with the people of the Ukraine as they continue in the midst of war that they might find peace and resolve. We pray, O oh Lord, for all for whom we would intercede this day, for Linda Miller and Linda Danley and Jenny Slick, for Nancy Scholl, for Donna Dorn, for Elaine Wilson, for Miriam Martin, for Gail Legner, for Evelyn Ragg and Evelyn Tompkins, for Tom and for Nikki and for Lisa, and for each that we come into your loving care in these moments of silence. <clears throat> into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.